play. Korea Yu Jamin, who's currently ranked 20 in the world, she's only comparing Han Yue to um, Han Seong. Then technically, uh, Han Seong has got a, a lot more yeah. uh, options than um, than Han Yue. Han Yue, yeah. a lot more. Anyway, she's not going to uh, take her eye off the shuffle at all. No, I have to say something. Han did. So it is going to be a solid uphill task for Jamin. Nearest to us, where she's playing a little bit uh, with the drift, and that one will come in. She's so quick on her feet that um, she can. At least we saw it yesterday against Han Yue. She was good at maintaining uh, the attack. But generally speaking, she's into a pattern. And Sio has this beautifully so great. Packet of Anse Young. Since coming back from that, um, the lack of match practice, the possible as, uh, as previously, and perhaps also that she's feel top right corner that is causing her problems as well. Every player that we've seen today has had a few problems with the lengths into that corner. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it is, and the way they celebrated as well, I think you tell. It's a really, really good fight. Oh, spectacular next point in that match. Yeah. Then you basically want to attack, but that also means you have to move um, at a fast pace, and that's perhaps not what um, what she's keen yeah, to do at she, the moment. Yeah, uh, and Sion. Good play. You see of the shot if she plays into the net. Basically, only has a, an option of playing long. That contest. a lot but those high profile matches those crunching finals against Chen Yufei and Akane yeah, she, she played almost a full tournament every single time Oi, something touched the net there must have been the shuttle she stretched yeah. oh, that's great. Of the courts it's going to be difficult for you Jamin to put pressure on her at the backboard at least love it Oh, that's the one. Pace has gone up. Yep. Great chance for Jam in here. That top corner. Long. That's a beauty. <laughs> oh, that's a great little extension. Then you need sometimes need situations like this to sort of get past it, where you simply have to find something to uh, stay in the tournament. From front court to back court, just that back court side of it right now with these. 
in the first game, the shot quality is, is sort of taken away from her because she can't use the backcourt and yeah. she's not as quick on her feet as um, she used to be. And then uh, you jump in is, is <laughs> That's better. Oh, that It is important because it's, it's two totally different games you have to play on. That's a bad sign. What you should do on this no. side, yeah. Landed in. Gifted a good little leg up here in the second game already. That you can actually play it long on both sides. Yeah. So this is all over the shop, really, in terms of distribution of wind. Born in that, it's super important for her chances in this match that she's. At all. Yeah, and, and the difference here compared to yesterday when she played Hungary is it's gone long again. So that's very often the difference between the strong players and the top players. It's having that. Yeah. So right. Part two, twenty seconds. Part two, twenty seconds. But so was it in the first game? It was just Anzi Young who made the errors. Yeah, but, but uh, as long as the opponent don't figure out what to do at the back line, then that, that's fine. She's made the same service return uh, five times in a row. You jump in from that left-hand field. Second game is gone here, so even if, if they have a plan, uh, you jump in and the Singaporean coaches in my opinion, you don't show it now. Because yeah. Understanding that realization that this game is lost seems to be a weight like a golden monkey on her back, really. Yeah. Beautiful play by Anzion. Very, very drifty. Anything. This is, you're right. It's just, it is strange when you see Scott. There is a very good, uh, yeah. really kind of amplified the different with Anseyon scoring um, some extra points before oh. you. Took the first game. This looks very positive for the top. Calm movements by Anse Young. Good deception. One more time. Yeah. Oi, fantastic oh, defense. Wow. The 
Most likely there's only one thing she can do, you jump in, that's play even more aggressively, which uh, I think it's going to be difficult for her to uh, be successful with. Long. Playing passive to the backcourt of Anse Young, I don't think that's going to help. Yeah. No, so, so unless she finds that touch with a small deception on her shots, there's, there's got to be deceptions on all shots to the backcourt. Read by Ansel Young, but she powers the clear, makes sure the play is still alive. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. I think that, uh, you know, the top. And yeah. takes it. It's a mistake. So Young is now going to have to deal with that back line. And so Young can play the back line when she's in balance. When she's off balance, it's difficult. In balance, she should have the touch to do it. Super cool. said stark contrast to that second game she kind of knows what to do from that side yeah. and that's oh great pick up and so you're on straight we talked about it in the first game where i felt towards the end she became a little bit too passive to find that window of opportunity. She's got better control. That's a good shot. Very flat exchange. Super play by Nancy. Third and final mid game in four. Good shot. That yeah. shot, that's, that's so true. Has um, been able to tailor her game better because that's definitely what uh, Anse Young has done. Wide. Ah. Both players trading barbs for front court, mid court. That's oh. nice. Off out of trouble with the big clears. One of them. Oh, that's good. That didn't look good. Hopefully yeah, nothing happened. Yeah.
Oh, that's a pity. What a shot. Great. She was in trouble. Thank you. Fantastic. Oh. Oh, the Malaysia Open. A bigger court with more options. Which is exactly what you want when you're up against the world number one. Because you get help, that's much more difficult when you're playing up against the drift. And let her get away with just attacking. Fantastic defense from Ansi Young. Amazing body defense. Oh, yeah. Of course, job two is actually to go ahead, and job three is to seal the deal. Play across. No. An increase in pace. Oh. Good pressure. I don't know if she has the technical ability to do that, uh, you jump in. Yeah, and I think that's exactly it. I think this whole match. Uh, regardless of the drift, has really come down to what you said, touch. And Hansi Young's touch, a little bit more flexible. Charmin has uh, two or three points here to change things up. Got a pretty good read on what's coming at the moment. Two rallies where she's rattled and moving in the wrong direction that doesn't make the day. That's going to be it. Oh. Charmin keeps the rally alive. That's a good one. Women's dub. Zhen Su Zhen. Zhen Yu. China. Versus Rina. Working a lot on that Rina. diagonal. I think it's. Clever, but I also think she needs to vary it. Uh, you jump in. But looking on course, Charmaine is either going to make two mistakes, can't make a mistake. It's the claw back seven point. Option. Yeah. Yeah. So injecting some pace into this rally. Oh, there's a tumble. Extra second wind. Question is, can she maintain it? Oh, that's. Thank you, China. Thank you, Sakuramoto. Level. Play. One. Look. She's so much better now. She Looks yeah. like she's free of nerves. <laughs> no. 17, remember? Oh, <laughs> what a move! Risky! But she's done. That's fantastic. That's so many chances.